Hello again, the main story is in London now and a hotel has been evacuated and roads closed after flooding near King's Cross Station in the early hours of this morning. Around 80 firefighters have been responding to the flood which was caused by a burst water main on Pentonville Road. Thames Water apologised to those affected and said engineers have now closed the main flow of water from the broken pipe. A hotel near King's Cross Station has been evacuated after a burst water main flooded parts of Pentonville Road. It happened in the early hours of this morning. Angie George sent this report from the affected area. Well, the cleanup operation has been well and truly underway through the day today here on the Pentonville Road. It was around four o'clock this morning that emergency crews were called out to a burst water main here. Several uh, crews from London's fire service brought mobile flood barriers to try and curb and contain the flow. Mostly the water has gone now, but it's left a real mess in its wake, as you can see uh, along the road behind me that stretches right the way down to King's Cross Station. For this nearby fully booked hotel, it meant an early morning evacuation of guests from 15 affected rooms. As you can see, the water is being deposited here, and the water is just coming down from the floor above. It's just dripping. We are looking because we are fully booked today as well, and tomorrow as well. And as you see, they are still pumping the water out from the building. So I don't think we can able to accommodate our guests, so just we are making some another arrangement for the guests right now. King's Cross Church had to cancel its morning services. The water level was really high at one point, um, but it looks like it sort of just managed to, I think they did some diverting of the water earlier on, so it took so many different groups of people to, to fix it, but I mean, it's what, it's like middle of the afternoon and there's still some mess, but it's been remarkable to watch it just be, to go away and everyone working hard. Now, Thames Water has apologised to anyone who's been affected and say engineers are on site working as quickly as they can to get things back to normal. Angie George, BBC London.